every time that I come out, I mean, you hear how every five, ten seconds there's somebody honking a horn when they drive by. There's a guy like you that can come down here and talk directly to people, not the spokesman or the leader, but just people, and then you put it up on YouTube and who knows how many people like see it, right? Occupy Chicago Twitter now has 10,000 followers, right? And so it's just a whole different way that this message like gets spread than it would have 30 years ago. There's so many issues because there's so many injustices, right? And everybody's got one that uh, is an emotional, emotional firecracker for them. Well, but it all, but they all, but, but what people realize is, how would you say it? I mean, maybe they can't articulate it in a sort of a white paper type of a format, but everybody agrees that the underlying foundation or fundament to all of these problems is this grossly unfair economic system that we have. Can't we just say that there, we have a, kind of like a, institutions that are, are broken? In other words, they don't seem to uh, feel, they don't seem to flow out all resources and all opportunities to all strata of society. I mean, put, and put it this way: that's a particular point of view. I mean, let's face it: you can go on Fox News and you can get reams of people that will tell you that these institutions don't have any accountability or shouldn't have any responsibility to anyone but themselves, right? But what you're seeing out here is this idea that obviously these institutions are broken. How to fix them, you know, that we can sit down and discourse about. Well, I right? even mean like a public institutions, just like, uh, exactly. for instance, right, we're right here at the market, you know, and the market is a way to develop liquidity and, and uh, capital. And that's not really working very well either because it's always at the whim of the gamblers. Well, I mean, and as I say, you can have very, very specific, everybody here, put it this way, the best one that I've heard, guy in my family, the way he says it, look, in the end of the day, every person is a faction of one, right? Meaning everyone, and especially in a system of society that we purport to have here, everybody is free to kind of think what he wants to think and form his own opinions on things, okay? Now, how do we then, as a bunch of different individuals, get together and try to do something that can affect things, okay? Well, what we do is we look at what are the really common things that we all know from an intuitive point, you know, are, are the things that drive what the system is. And the thing that I'm saying to people, and I've repeated this maybe like four or five times, 50 times since I've been here, all of these systems are human creations. You know, they do not operate from natural laws of physics, right? These are things built by men, created by men, maintained by men, people, let's say, okay? So we have a right to say, hey, look, these institutions don't work, okay? We don't have to be for or against this or that ism or this or that system to say, hey, look, these things just don't work. No, I, 